Yeah, I know we've talked about it a couple of times, but uh, I'm really excited for the for the guys in the program getting a conference win on the road uh, versus a quality opponent. That was uh, great, but you know now everything's on on Lafayette and and um, you know getting getting ready for those guys and had a really good week of practice. Um, and, or sorry, really good day of practice and, and good Tuesday, and, and guys are, are locked in and, and ready to go. Questions? Uh, now, now that y'all kind of had a weekend look over that Southern Miss film, just what were some things you think this team can improve on as y'all head into Louisiana? Uh, you know, I thought we we the emphasis last week, like I told you after the game, was was starting fast, and obviously you couldn't have started any faster than we did. We the kickoff return and the then the interception, and, and we were really rolling and and. Um, I thought, you know, everything was was about as good as it could go the first half. Obviously, there's things to, to clean up, and then the second half, just just a just one of those weird deals. And and um, you know, you're up by that many points. We knew we had a really big time opponent coming up. We knew we have a long season ahead of us. You know, we're already banged up a little bit, um, but there was no like the the halftime. You know, speech was like, "Hey, this game is not over. You know, we got to go out there and and keep scoring and and playing great defense." And I just think it's it's hard. Just like when you're talking about, you know, getting up for Nevada, that's that's over whatever. You know, it's 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 you can tell them all you want and you can motivate them, but at the same time, you got to have those leaders kind of step up and 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 finish things out. And and when we didn't have those guys in there and and that type of stuff, sometimes I think it just naturally. Um, happens that way and um, you know we probably weren't as aggressive as we usually are we're you know we're, we're trying to keep guys healthy and it is what it is um, we felt like the lead was in hand and and um, but you know obviously uh, you know we won and that's the most important thing if 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 us being ahead by that many points and worrying about teams coming back is my biggest problem I promise you, I'll be all right. I can, I can handle that next time. So um, I, thought, I thought our guys were excited after the game. Uh, we had a really good Tuesday practice. So, you know, I, everyone is, is, is excited about this Saturday and excited to, to go and, and uh, have opportunity to really go upset a team on the road. You know, just looking at Louisiana, I know they've got a really good freshman quarterback playing really good at the moment. But just overall thoughts about what, how this Louisiana team looks. Yeah, I, I think that guy is special. Um, I recruited him a little bit. I looked. I still follow him on Twitter. Uh, he's he's a big time player. Um, you know, he's a he's a true dual threat. You can see the arm talent is there. I thought he you know he throws really well on the run. Um, he's dynamic with the ball in his hands. Um, he's a great runner. He's not just fast. You know, he can make people miss in open space. Um, I thought he, you know, played really well. I was, I was able to watch some of that Minnesota game live in the hotel um, before our game, and and um, you know, it was, it was hard not to start thinking about him because um, I think he's he's really good. Um, just he, he's a he's a special player. I mean, I I think he's one of the top, and I truly I think he's one of the top quarterbacks in the whole country. I, I believe that. I think he's a superstar. Um, so we're gonna have to do a really good job of containing him. And and when we get our opportunity to to get him on the ground, we gotta we gotta capitalize. So um, yeah, he's he's just a really good player. You know, Louisiana they're they're very similar to the Bobcats. Uh, they, they put up points. Their defense gets after the quarterback, but they let some points go as well. Uh, it, it's it's a real even matchup. But do you agree with that? Do you when you look at Louisiana, do you yeah. see the similarities and what they do and what you do? Yeah, I think statistically for sure um, we're neck and neck in a lot of statistics and and um, I think you know just listening to his press conference yesterday, I always you know I always talked about the the psychology part of it and like like that dude is sharp. Like their head coach, like he gets it. Like he's smart. Um, he's gonna have those guys prepared. Those guys are tough. Um, you know he's been there for a while. He's got a lot of pride in that place. Um, so uh, yeah, I, I definitely see this. They, they play extremely hard. They're dis disruptive on the defensive side. Um, they're very explosive on offense. So yeah, I definitely see the the similarities. Going on the road, first first Sun Belt road game for you. How was that? Would you would you take away from from going on the road against a conference opponent? Uh, you know that that. Um, you know, it, it's hard to win on the road, and it is. And I thought, you know, we, we came out and, and started fast, but we got to continue to, to get better. You know, that's, that's the thing about us. We're still so young and, and this um, the, with this team and this coaching staff. So 
you know, every day, every meeting is important for us. We're, we got to continue to get better. We can't just be satisfied with, you know, winning a couple of games. Um, you know, that's not the goal that, that we've set for ourselves. So um, we got to continue to get better. And, um, you know, I, I think we have the, the right guys to do that. It feels like your your best kept secret, Ishmael Mahdi, is no longer a secret. A lot of people are starting to recognize after yeah. that kickoff return and four touchdowns. Yeah. Uh, what's it like having someone like that on your team, that, that weapon? And, and what did you see from him last year? I know you, you didn't play against him. Yeah. Uh, you played against Houston Christian, but he didn't play, I'm pretty sure. I yeah. remember that was Texas State. But what did you see from him last year at the FCS level that made you want him? You know, I didn't really, you know, Houston Christian, they were just, you know, it was one of those deals. We, I think it was like 70 to three or 70 to nothing at halftime when we played him last year. So. I didn't get a lot of, of that. You know, I, I remember, to be honest, I told him this. I remember him winning some kind of, like, special teams player of the week and his Houston Christian. He returned a kickoff, I think, last year versus Northern Colorado, maybe, or something like that. And so that was kind of the first time I knew who he was. And then Coach Bryant, um, our tight ends coach, he was at Allen High School when he was at Plano East, and they played each other. And he was like, yeah, this guy's really electric, that type of deal. And then when he entered the portal, um, you know, I'm always looking for those guys that can score in one play. And and you could just see on his film that, you know, because I, I knew what type of, you know, maybe talent was around him, and he was still able to just make explosive plays. And, and um, I'm not, you know, like, obviously I'm not afraid to bring FCS players. So I, I, knew, I knew the twitch was there. I knew the talent was there. And I thought that's something that, you know, we need it on offense. We need guys that can score in one play. We need guys like that. That's what, you know, when we're at our best, that's what we have. And so um, that's all positions. So, um, you know, he really just really fit the system really well. And, um, and so, and, and, and after I got to know him, I, you know, call him and recruit him a little bit and, um, just an unbelievable kid, unbelievable story. Just very grateful when he got here. Like, and he, you know, he's looking around like this is, you know, the best with the Dallas Cowboys. You know what I'm saying? Like, this was the best thing that's ever happened to him. So, you got to appreciate guys like that and the attitude that he brings. And, um, you know, we really didn't know in the spring, little banged up. Summer, like, okay, you know, he's starting to kind of, this is who we kind of thought we, were, we had. Um, and in the spring, too, he would always – he would score touchdowns, but, you know, it would be against the threes or something, so you didn't really know exactly what you had. And then as, as it kept on progressing and throughout the summer and, and fall camp, you know, he probably started the, the year, I don't know, somewhere on the depth chart. Like we said earlier, like we didn't really know what we had. And that was, that was the truth. Those first couple of games, we're trying to figure out what we got. And um, he's a guy that just – you know, obviously he flashed and kept scoring touchdowns. I like guys that score touchdowns, so that's why he's playing that much. Yeah, Texas State historically has never had much success against Louisiana. Uh, how do you, I guess, break that trend and getting that first win against Louisiana as a program? Yeah, like that, that's always tough because obviously they're a really good team, but like people keep on bringing like ten. Like, I don't. I was I was in another state ten years ago. Some of these kids were in, in like elementary school 10 years ago or middle school or something so all that stuff doesn't bother me like like college football now you can have a guy that that was at this place during uh fall camp and then at this place during the season and this play like we have so many new guys it, I, I don't think any of that kind of yeah. stuff matters like obviously you got to go out there and, and win and do your job and and to me that's what this thing is about especially this early on like we're just trying to go out there and, and have a good Tuesday practice and, and go out there and, and have another Wednesday practice that's, that, that gives us an opportunity to win. I mean, that's what this thing's about right now. You know, obviously you've never had history traveling to Louisiana, especially being in the Southland. Just what are those road trips out to Louisiana just like from your perspective? Yeah, I think, um, you know, we'll always – we'll stop at a Bucky's. And that's that's probably the highlight of, of that deal. Um you know, you just don't have Wi-Fi on the planes. You get Wi-Fi, you know, taking the bus out there and, and uh, you know, get to walk around, move around, and, and that, you know. So um, I think we calculated if you fly, you know, you get there at this time, you drive, you get there, you know, like 10 minutes earlier or 10 minutes later. So it wasn't that big of a deal uh, for us. And, and uh, I like stopping at Bucky's, and, and so that's what we'll do. You go for the beaver nuts, or, or what do you go uh, for? I don't know about the beaver nuts. Uh, I, I like the uh, I like all like the little jerkies they have. I like the little uh, uh, like the cinnamon sugar. Is that a beaver nut or that's a nugget or something? I don't know. The little cinnamon uh, pecans. Big big fan of those. Um, 
Slurpees, you know, they're always good. Um, just got everything you want. You want to go, you know, it's, it's kind of like a Walmart over here. It's kind of like, you know, food, your drinks. It's got everything you need. So they Clean like, bathrooms. That's the best part, clean bathrooms. Clean bathrooms, and a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, plenty, not a lot, yeah. at least not for the men. Yeah. Uh, you, you mentioned after the game that the defense was on the field too much because your offense was kind of scoring too quickly in the first half. Yeah. What, how do you how do you slow down without taking away the scoring? How do you find that middle ground and that efficiency there? Yeah, and I think that's part of, you know, and, and, and I know this, but that's part of sometimes like when you're up that much in the second half, like we're, that's not who we are. We are aggressive. We're fast going, you know, going, uh, you know, fast on offense, going fast on defense. And so now when you're like, okay, we're, we're going to, we're going to go out there and, and we're not as aggressive. That's just not who we are. We got to be aggressive. We got to play fast. Um, so that's what, that's what we'll con con uh, continue to do. And, and if that means we, you know, whatever, you know, it's, it's just one of those deals. We got to continue to, to play fast and work on ourselves. Yeah. Not slow down, but continue the aggression and ramp yeah. up the aggression. Yeah, exactly Makes sense. Right. You know, TJ Finley, we're getting to talk to him today. Terrific first five starts for him. Ten touchdowns, one interception. Uh, he's you. You've talked about how this is a guy. You saw that arm, NFL arm, NFL caliber arm, yeah. and you've you've anticipated this. But just just talk about his impact on this team. Four and one start. How important is it to have a guy with his not just his arm talent, but that leadership capability that he has? Yeah, I think um, you know since the moment he's got here, um, he just has a certain level of maturity about him. He's been around some really good coaches. Uh, been around some really good. Uh, programs and and he's seen it done at a high level and and uh, he goes out there and operates um, the system really well and and um, I think that's the main thing is you know when we have a guy that can operate really well and and put the ball where it needs to go we got a chance and and he's done that and it just helps that he's six seven two sixty five and has a really good arm and the thing that's probably and that you see it on film the accuracy on film like I, I knew that about him like I knew he was accurate but then when you get him here and and the amount of reps that we get throughout the week like he's been really accurate which is good so we just got to continue to to keep him upright and um, keep on getting him in a rhythm that's when he's at his best um, so we uh, just excited for him, and you know, because he shoot, he's he took a you know a gamble and and got in the portal and and came here, and when he had some other opportunities, other places, and so uh, I always you know it always feels good when when something like that works out for a kid, and, and he's having a lot of success. Now, I think just like the team, I, I don't think he's satisfied with with what he's done so far. He's got to continue to get better and continue to you know um, help us win. You know, against Nevada, y'all got off to the slow start, and then you rip off 35 points. You know, against Southern Miss, y'all start with 42 points, but then kind of get slow on that second half. How do y'all, I guess, put together like a complete game plan as y'all head into Southern Miss, or just a complete like full game as y'all want as y'all want to be? Yeah, I think um, you know, I think the Baylor game was pretty close to a full game. Um, you know, I think that's. I thought UTSA for the most part, like. You know, offensively and defense, we weren't clicking great on offense that day. Um, defense, I thought, played well. And then you're talking about 77 points versus Jackson State. And then we just came out and, and didn't execute very well versus Nevada and then obviously turned it on. Um, and then Southern Miss, you know, the, the 42 points or whatever it was in the first half. Like I said, like, we just got to go out there. and I, I don't necessarily worry about this half and this half. We just got to go out there and, and every every snap and every drive, go out there and execute and do your job. Whoever's in there, whatever the play call is, whatever we're doing, um, just go out there and do your job. Did you come out of that game relatively healthy? We noticed there was no Connor Fox, no Bo Corrales. Yep. Or how, how, what are they looking this week? Yeah, yeah. I, I thought for the this is probably the healthiest we've been as far as that goes uh, coming out of a game. Uh, which was which was good to see because um, we we desperately needed it. Um, so that was good to see. Um, Bo practiced uh, today, which was great. Um, we'll kind of see kind of what that looks like. I, I want him to be 100% healthy and 100% confident in what he's doing out there. So we'll see kind of what that looks like. Uh, Connor Fox was out there running around today, uh, looking pretty good. So I think he'll probably be a game time decision. Um, so. You know, we'll kind of see on a couple of those guys. Uh, Revels was out there running around today, looking good. So that was great to see. Um, 
Nash has the the uh, I think he gets the boot off pretty soon. He's got some good news yesterday, so we're hoping. Uh, like I said, the way that kid's wired, like I'm, I, I just can't put a date on him because you just never know. Yeah, you think there's a good chance he Nash could come back this season? We'll see. I think, like I said, I think probably the normal person no, but Nash, you know, I think probably. You know, we haven't seen a lot of Calvin Hill. Uh, yeah. is, is there an injury there? Is it just kind of roll, rolling with the hot hand at running back? What's yeah, going on I there? think, you know, today was a really good day for, for Calvin. And, um, you know, I think anytime you got a guy like Ish out there that's playing the way he is, you know, it's hard, you know. Um, but Calvin's a really good player. Um, he's shown that over the years and, and just excited kind of where he's at. And he's got to, you know, just continue just like the whole team, just continue to get better. And, and uh, so, you know, we're counting on Calvin for sure. He he was huge in the in the special teams this week. So that was, you know, everyone kind of has a role and he's like, credit to him. He's he's doing it and running with it. You know, we saw I saw Myron Warren get out there. Did Cam Washington get out there? Is he cleared to play? No, Cam, you know, Cam will be out for the year. Oh, is he? Yeah, okay. Can't be okay. There. Can you comment on the injury or? No, I just I just don't like doing that for the kids and sake. But uh, yeah, he'll be out for the year. But yeah, Myron played really well. Okay. You know, we saw those setup packages for Malik running that yeah. read option. Just how how's he been able to like I get how's he been handling that read option? How you know especially yeah. when scoring that late touchdown that yeah. help y'all put that game away? Yeah, Malik is just so tough and and um, he's smart. He knows he knows what he's doing back there and um he's he's used to that role that's kind of been his role and you you can tell like it doesn't matter he's he hasn't played throw him in there it's like he's been playing the whole game he doesn't, there's not a lot of fill out for him um so which is is great and, and I have a lot of confidence in him it just puts so much stress on the defense when when you when you put him out there and and um uh, you got to account for him and you see what happened whether he's you know obviously a lot of times he's running the ball but a couple of times when he hasn't Guys just run free. I mean, D good at 100 yards rushing when he was in the game. You see, uh, uh, was it, uh, I think it was Ish or, or Jeter, one of those guys took it to the house when he was in there on one of the zone read stuff. Um, then obviously he pulled that last one to, to kind of seal the game. So he's a weapon and uh, he'll continue to, to play a big role in our offense. You know, that's something you've been kind of harping on. Everyone just buying into a role, whether, you know, Calvin, even though he's not getting his touches, he's buying into a role. You know, Malik, even though he's not starting, he's buying yeah. into his role. How important is it that all these players have been buying into their roles part, as part of the team? Yeah, I think you you got to. Uh, to win a championship, everyone everyone has to do, do their role. And, and um, you know, I, I think, you know, sometimes that's hard. In college football, that's hard, especially the day and age that we live in. It's hard, but, um, you know, our guys are, are playing really hard and they're buying in and it's year one, you know, obviously it helps when you, when you win, you know, winning, you know, solves a lot of problems. So, um, really, really pleased with where we're at as far as that goes. Uh, we got a bunch of really good kids and, um, I think everyone, you know, everyone has that chip on their shoulder. We just want to win. Um, you know, there's a lot of guys that, you know, to be honest with you, that, that we wanted to come back that, that aren't with us anymore. And a big reason, you know, most of them said, hey, coach, I want to go win. I got one year left. I want to go win. And so I, I took that to heart. And, you know, I use that for motivation every day um, when I'm getting myself prepared. Um, I want to win, too.